Could you knock it off? Or could you knock it off? Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I'm launching what I hope becomes a new series on my channel and it's called Knock It Off. The idea behind it is simple. Two crafty friends exchange cards and then you take the card that was sent to you and use it as inspiration for another card project. There are so many ideas out there and you can take so many different directions from any card that you see online or social media. Of course, it's always nice to credit the inspiration every time. But what you'll see today is even though I start in one place, the card that I'm creating is not an exact copy, but you can clearly see the inspiration. The friend that I'm playing with today, my friend Bethany from Bethadilly. So we're both doing this today. I sent a card to her, she sent a card to me, and we're sharing our videos today on YouTube so that you can see how each of us took a card from someone else and knocked it off. To see my card project and how I knocked off Bethany, stick around, it's coming up next. All right, let's see what Bethany's card looks like. Jewels, not tools. I literally just painted my nails. And even though they're completely dry, I don't, I don't like to dig. You know what I mean? All right. Oh, I see something. Oh, Bethany, that is so cute. Okay. So we got a cute little repetition going all the way down with a shape and that is so cute with the colors. Huh. Huh. Now I gotta think. Bethany, this is adorable. How am I gonna knock this off? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna percolate a little tiny bit, and then I am going to pull some products and use this card as inspiration. Okay, I'm excited. Hold tight. Have an idea. <laughs> okay, one of the things that I think is very cool looking at this is a rainbow, B shape repetition, greeting repetition, and of course the enamel dots. Now I just got an order in the mail from Gina K. I ordered some polyglaze foiling sheets in what? Are, what? Oh, foiling sheets. This is called. Why can't I think? Oh, flurries. <laughs> it's right there. I love this pattern. I also just ordered some foil. Oh, there's my. <laughs> Ooh, I also ordered some foil. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to foil a sheet and then I think I'm going to cut some shapes and ink blend them to take this as my main idea. So as soon as my new fuse heats up, and again, this I have a video for this. This is a new laminator designed for card makers and it did sell out way faster than Gina thought it was going to. She literally was taken by surprise. And so I will also have a link to this product because I believe she has got a notify me. There will be more, but not for a while. So any laminator will work. Also, if you have a mini mink, that will be great. But again, I'm just taking this inspiration. Oh, and there we go. And creating. So let me get set up with my foil. Someone suggested that I get one of these uh, for cutting foil and I think I can cut right on my glass without harming anything but let's see I'm just gonna go like that. Does that work? Ah, mostly. I think I had to put a little more pressure on it. There we go. I think this will be fine. I think that's big enough. One of the things I like to do with my foil once I have purchased a package, I will put this into a pocket, like a plastic sleeve pocket that I keep all of my other foils in, but I hope I did this enough. Let's see. Um, yeah, we are, we're going to be fine because we're cutting shapes. I probably could have done a little better on this, but let's open our carrier. All right. Pop that in. And now bring my little fuse towards me and we're going to put this pattern right onto the polyglaze that's gonna that's gonna suck that color in and then I'm gonna find a shape I have a plan I don't never say never I have a plan all right coming out the back we're almost there and that looks very smooth so now I can turn off my fuse 
because I will not be using that anymore today unless I really screw up here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a shape. It might even be hearts. I don't know, but I'm going to repeat a shape. And then what I want to do is blend on my colors onto those shapes and then cut a heart. Or I might blend first. We'll see. It's, uh, it's hard to say, but let's lift this up because I believe, oh yeah, oh my gosh, that pattern is so cute. All right, we're zooming in. Got to show you, got to show you how cute it is. So now I have this very shiny little friend. All right, look at all that. Well, it's subtle. Come on now. I know I can get it. There we go. Oh, so cute. It foiled perfectly. So now let me grab some inks and get set up with my chosen shape and some blending. I'm going to grab some colors. I'm going to use a pink from Concord and Ninth because this is my new favorite, pale pink. And then the rest of my colors for blending are going to come from Simon Says Stamp, the positively saturated colors. So let's, uh, let's blend on some color. I think I'm going to blend first and cut second. And so I'm going to put on some music and I'm, well, no, I'm going to use full size full size brushes for this. I'm going to put on the music and just create a little blend on this panel. And of course the gold will resist the color and keep the shine. And uh, this is on my grip mat. So the grip mat's going to hold this nicely in place and let's go. I have all the colors from Bethany's Rainbow, basically, but I also have all the shine on here. There we go. Now all I have to do is contemplate shapes. So let me think about that for a second. I have pulled a heart die from one of my uh, die sets. This is from the Hero Arts Infinity Dies, and that's the shape I'm going to go with. So what I would like to do is to capture aspects of all of these colors. Actually, let's go this way. And I'm going to go through and cut a bunch out off camera so I emerge with hearts. And then I'll also cut just an extra heart layer in white so that it has a little dimension. Let me go ahead and cut these all out and then show you what I have in mind. So here's a beautiful thing. I have this panel. This would make a great shaker. I'm going to set that aside, and if I have time to do it off camera, I'm going to. But what I'm going to do first is take each one of my little hearts. I just cut uh, some Nina Solar White Classic Crest here, and I'm just going to do liquid glue to shore up each of my little shapes. And again, I'm going with hearts. So hopefully what you will see from this fun video and the series, if this turns out to be something that people actually like, is there's just so many ways to Take inspiration and make it your own and use it as a springboard, especially on those days where you're like, I don't really know what I want to make, but I want to make something. And this whole idea of knock it off, you know, you, you can take so many different directions on any creative project. So that was my goal with this, you know, so we'll see. Let me finish gluing these all on. And then I want to show you another idea I have to mimic what Bethany did for the greetings. All right, here's what I'm thinking. I, <laughs> I'm going to turn this into a card for my anniversary, which as of the day that we're sharing this, um, I, I'm all, it, I think it's a couple days shy. No, actually, this might be literally on my anniversary. This is the day, October 19th, if you're watching it. I've been married for 32 years and I need a card, but I'm doing this a little early, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my foil back out. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this little friend. This is toner based. I'm going to take a piece of gold and put it right over where I basically want it to be. Smooth it out. 
and I'm going to run this through. And I think I might run it through twice because sometimes the toner based products are a little trickier. Mine, uh, hopefully this will transfer well, but let me run it through two times. And that way it's going to transfer the gold foil to the greeting. And then I'm going to have this pretty gold sentiment strip that I can cut apart and put on my card. Running it through a second time. Okay, now I have a gold. Let me zoom in here. It's kind of cool to see this. Again, sometimes with foil products, you have to run it through more than once. But now you can see I have, oh, there we go, gold foiled greetings that are going to match the stars. So let me cut this strip out and cut it apart so we can start building our card. Just wanted to show you I used one of my Simon's Stamp Sentiment Label dies and now I can break apart and I'm just gonna use my little baby trimmer and cut this to I think it'll say I love it when you let me and pick shows. I think that's a good I think that's a good anniversary card. It's all about what you write on the inside anyway. All right let me cut. Now this won't be perfect because I can't quite get all the spacing perfect, but we're going to go, I love it, when, and we're going to try to split that right in the center. See that? See how close that's going to be? Oh boy. Oh boy. You know what? I think I need to take a little more off this edge too. There we go. You kind of want it to be as, you know, I mean, these aren't super spaced out, but I think I think this will be fine. So we have, I love it when <laughs> you let me, and then right there, there we go. I love it when you let me <laughs> pick shows. I really do. Cause I have good, I mean, I have good taste. I really, you know, all right. And then we're going to come right here and just trim off the last little bit. So those are my three repeating greetings again, following this model. And I will, uh, well, it's time to build the card. Yay. As I'm working on this, I realize because my card's going to be a very simple one layer card, I'm not even going to use a panel. Let's see here. I think I'm going to put some gold spatter on just to reinforce the gold theme. So let me fold this down. My cardstock is all slightly off from the pack that I bought from the paper mill. And that's okay. All right, let me get my box and we're just going to put a little gold all over the, well, not all over. We're going to kind of go in a little, you know, up to down. Hold tight. Even though I'm obsessed with my fan brush lately, uh, I don't know why, I've been uh, experimenting with just this brush and I'll show you why. It's kind of cool. Let me get all the things out of the way that could take on gold, like my glasses. <laughs> that would not be good. I'm going to take a little bit of the Brutus Monroe Aqua Pigment in Gilded, pick it up with my brush, and then here's what you always want to do before, before you start. Test it, see what's happening over here, and then bring it to your paper. And I kind of have been digging this little brush too. Literally any brush is gonna work for you. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of spatter. Just do it and walk away. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'll go clean this up. I didn't even need that much. And as soon as it's dry, we're gonna put all the elements onto the card. While this is drying, I'm gonna take some foam squares. These are the 3D foam squares from Simon Says Stamp that are a little less lofty. I don't have, I think I'm completely out of the slightly taller foam squares and that's fine. I think this will be fine. Not quite sure what the design is going to look like yet, but I know having just a little bit of dimension, right? That'll be nice. And those greeting strips are nice and small, so they should be easy to pop on. Oh, get in the right order to the card design. So let me get the rest of these on and we'll figure out our arrangement. This is the general gist because I want to move down like she did, but I don't want to go in a complete diagonal from top to bottom. At least I don't think I do because, well, let's see. Let's see what that would look like. I don't think I have enough room 
to fit my hearts perfectly from top to bottom. But you know what? It's worth a try because here what you can do, right, is they can go all the way across to the bottom, right? And that, that actually could work. Huh, I wasn't thinking that could. You know what? I actually think that way, one's at the top, one's at the bottom. These guys are sort of coming in like that. Of course, I gotta make sure all these are gluing down straight. But what about that? And then I could put just a few little, uh, I'm gonna put some little dots on, but mine are gonna be gold. All right, let's start gluing. So we are creating, right, the same idea with a rainbow, but it's a little different. Oh, let's get this guy. I gotta show you something that I figured out the other day, and I think I'm pretty smart, but maybe I'm not as smart as I think I am. Sometimes these roll on me, but if you have like a magnet, they'll they'll stick to your magnet and then they don't move. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, where's my glue? We're gonna take a little glue and let's just put these all down. A little dot on each foam square helps it to have a little float time before we commit. And we're gonna go, well, I guess I could hold it up here. One right here in the upper corner, all right. Get it nice and straight, right? And move down. These little, uh, the little place and pierce wand is also a really nice way to, see, magnet. Take your backers off and it's not as dangerous as the pen blade that I use, which I seem to cut myself uh, once, <laughs> probably, probably once every six weeks. I just don't know why, but I just, I just do. It's just a thing. There. Okay. So the spacing's, you know, more or less equal, right? Like there. And pop the last one down. And I'm not gonna pop up the little greetings because I don't think they need it. I think they'll be very cute just on their own. But our last one here. So we're corner to corner, top to bottom, pretty much the same spacing. And again, don't forget there's so much, look at that, it just looks like a twinkly night. It's so fun. And then I love it when it is a little, you know what, I've got some schmutz on here. It's a little bigger than the heart, but that's okay because again, this is just my little, my little greeting for the hubs. I don't need this to extend all the way because I, this is going to be going right across here and I'll just pop it right down towards the base of the heart and press. And that looks pretty straight, right? Hold that down. Now for you, let me, I'm going to jut that in just a little bit because I think that would be cute. Okay. So again, get your little, your little inner piece here and you let me is going to just come in like that. Okay. And I don't think that needs any extra support, but I am going to put a brick on here. And pick shows is, uh, all, well, well, let's see, do I want that to be out or in? I think that's also going to go out that way. One goes in and one goes out. And actually, I'm going to take a tiny bit more off. And a sliver like that. There we go. Just a nice way to hold. I don't even need tweezers for this because I'm not popping up. But this way, you go right like that in the center. Hold that down. All right, I'm going to put those there for a second. Let me grab a few gold dot thingies. For my dots, I am going to use some gold foil pearls just to continue to reinforce that gold shiny thing, but they're all the same size. And I'm just gonna do liquid glue, boop, and five, nice odd number, boop, to match the number of hearts, boop. 
And so that is the way I'm going to represent Bethany's enamel dots on this card. We are almost done. Boop. And I love it. All right, let's compare. Well, first, let's just take a look at the finished cards. We've got shine and twinkle, but we've got that core rainbow repeated. We've got a card for the hubby. Well, let's look at them side by side and talk about the inspiration. So of course, some of the obvious things are Bethany's rainbow, and I really wanted to do a similar rainbow. And because she's overlapped, my version of overlapping the graphics is blending one color into the next. Then of course, we've got the general angle of the design, right? The white cardstock shapes. She has a half circle. I have hearts. She has the enamel dots and the th and I have the gold pearls and then the blocky type. And I actually think Bethany used my stamp set for this. I'm pretty sure that this is an old one. I'm going to link to Bethany's card video for this card in the YouTube description so you can see how she made the original card. And then of course, I'm also going to link to Bethany's version of my card that I sent to her. So I hope this inspires you and shows you, you could look at these cards side by side, and I don't think you would say immediately, oh, clearly she copied the design. No, it's just an inspiration, right? A way to knock it off and create something completely new. So thanks to Bethany for the inspiration. I can't wait to invite another crafty friend to play knock it off promised I would do this, so I'm going to do it. I have this, and I put acetate on here. I trimmed this down to be four by five and a quarter. And then, I have never used these before. Gina K Designs Shaker Strips are awesome. Also, want to show you a new tool that I have. This is called the It's No Secret Anti-Static Powder Tool. I just opened a bag, and it's from, uh, this calls for confetti. I just opened a bag of new confetti. Now here's what happens. You take this and you just kind of spin it around inside your bag and this has anti-static powder on it. I don't know if I'm showing this very well, which helps to get all of your friends out of this bag. And that's that's what this tool is. It, it's like a it's like a lip gloss brush, but there's anti-static powder inside here and I've been wanting to use it and never had a reason until now. So I'm going to fill up my wells. All right. I've just got three wells like that. And even though one of the wells is going to have a little more than others, I think this is going to be just fine. It's going to be very shiny. So let me quickly remove all of the backers. And then I have cut a little piece of 80 pound cardstock to be just a little smaller and that will become the background for my piece. So let me remove all of these. Just wanted to show you a little more of this because these shaker strips remove so easily, but you want to be careful that you don't shake like I just did there um, because your, your shaker fill will pop up onto your, sh your uh, foam. So just make sure before you glue anything down, there we'll have an errant one just floating over here, that you make sure they're all tucked in, right? The sides of these shaker strips are not sticky. Um, there's, a, there's an errant one in there. We're going to let you stay. I have everything taken off except this guy here. Okay, lift. And then all I'm going to do, let's make sure you're down too, is place the backer onto the piece and that because and you could use glitter cardstock you could blend and do something kind of ink blendy and cool uh oh i just messed up hold on let me clean this all up and stand up i should never sit down and do these things there we go and now you have a shaker where you have elements in each little area that are going to show up why i did them in silver i <laughs> They're supposed to be in gold. Oh, Kathy. Oh, Kathy. Well, anyway, um, I'll finish. <laughs> They're supposed to be in gold because of the gold. Oh, boy. Well, silver and gold. One is 
good and one is old. I'm gonna pop this onto a note card. To finish this off, I have a white note card, but I always keep like a bin of greetings and things that I haven't used, oh, many all over. And I found this little Love is Eternal that I, it's from my uh, what I Do or You Did stamp set. And I think that's gonna make a very cute. Now, again, I should have done this in gold, but I was so focused on how excited I was about the shaker strips that I didn't. But here's the back to that shaker. I would never have been able to figure that out on a card base. Like I would have never lined that up perfectly. And so that's why I do it this way with the little backers. And then we stand up here and we just pop that down onto the note card with just a little margin on all sides, right? That has a good pop-up because of the Gina K shaker strips. They have a, enough depth so that you can have an easy clearance to whatever you're popping in. I just wanted to do this before the video was completely in the bag because otherwise I don't think I would have ever done it. But look at it's almost like it was meant to fit right in there. I want you to imagine that I actually did it with gold and there I took, there's the positive and the negative. All right, now we're done. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box, along with links to Bethany's video as well. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you back here with another card project soon. I have another video that I did with Bethany, which I'll link below, plus another video that is just an inspired by Gina K Designs. Inspiration is everywhere, so check out the two thumbnails below.